Americans are showing their pride online, sending the hashtag 4th of July to the top of the trends. The U.S. celebrates the adoption of the Declaration of Independence back in 1776, marking the official birth of the United States as an independent nation. For us here in the North, we watch on as Americans set off fireworks and host some of the most wild competitions we can imagine, all in the name of patriotism. America is decked out in red, white, and blue as millions celebrate the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Thank you. Oh. This yearly celebration of freedom observed on July 4th often involves cookouts, star-spangled parades, bright firework displays, and, well, We'll label this as other patriotic festivities. Independence Day commemorates the adoption of the Declaration of Independence, but it took a long time to evolve to the widespread celebration it is now. Oh my God, you look like the 4th of July. It makes me want a hot dog real bad. Don't we all? Maybe not after watching this next part of the story. Ladies and gentlemen, this is when our nation comes together as one. For many, the July 4th tradition involves the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, and it gets wild. Three, two, one. Off to the races. I mean, Pat Bertoletti is the man in the arena. No victory without struggle. Patrick Bertoletti inhaled 58 hot dogs to win the famous international contest. How do you feel? It was, it was all focused today. No mohawk, just hot water, and uh, I wasn't going to stop eating until the job was done. Joey Chestnut, the 16 time chopping champion, didn't take part this year after he signed a deal with Impossible Foods. That's the meatless hot dog Nathan sees as a competitor. She is here to win and win only. And earlier in the day, it was the women's division. Defending champion Miki Sudo of Florida won her 10th title. She might eat more than the men. The 38-year-old Sudo consuming 51 hot dogs in 10 minutes and set a new world record for women. And I'm just happy to call this mine for another year. President Joe Biden hoping to call the White House his for another four years is getting in the spirit, taking to X, writing year after year. We've come together today to celebrate freedom, liberty, and independence and in sharing this video. We just have to remember who we are, for God's sake. We're the United States of America. And there's nothing, 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 nothing beyond our capacity when we work together. Trump civilized approach writing on truth social happy 4th of July to all including to our highly incapable president who uses prosecutors to go after his political opponent who choked like a dog during the debate ending his rant with make America great again